Turn it up, mm. turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Welcome back. We got a video from Arlette Amuli. It's a blind date video. She does the pop the balloon, but this one is going to be a blind date. So it's going to be a little different, but it's still going to be good. So let's check it out. Let's hop straight into it. Enough talking. Let's see. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It's your host, Arlette, and we are here today with Blind Date Love. Now, before we begin, if you'd like to be featured in any of these upcoming episodes, the submission form will be linked in the description box below. Make sure you go ahead and fill that out. Now, this is going to be separate from Pop the Balloon. So if you want to be featured in this specific segment of Blind Date Love, go ahead and click on that submission form below just to go ahead and be considered, and we'd love to have you on. So let's go ahead and get started. As you see here, we do have our wonderful single lady next yeah. to me. I'm gonna go ahead and have you introduce yourself. Yeah, so my name is Sherelle. I'm 22, I'm an architectural drafter, so um, I came on the show today like I'm ready to find love, so I'm really excited. Okay, um, just so <laughs> the guys can know a little bit more about you, what are some things uh, like to do for fun? She seemed yeah, mature. so a lot of like, my spare time is usually spent with like my friends or my it, you well i say she seemed mature real quick because you know a lot of the 22 year olds uh in today's age uh you know they 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 don't want good things for themselves they want the ratchetness they want the you know they just want the vir virality shit like you know what is your status on instagram what is you know what can i get from you type it's more just transactional they're not serious about finding somebody for real, for substance. They're, they're thinking about what can I get for, you know, monetarily, or what can I get that I can consume from you, you know? But she doesn't seem like that type of young lady. Family, but like personally, my own hobbies, like um, I've recently been getting into DJing. Okay. I don't do it in public yet, oh. but um, <laughs> and that's something like I like to do for fun and like going to the gym, like that's just like my usual go to right now. Okay, yeah. she white. Right. So we do have five single men on the other side of this curtain. Mm -hmm. um, I know they're hey, hey, no, no, hey, hey, hey. I hey, what's up with my guy's eyes? Y'all see this guy, the, the one on the far right with the hat, what up, bro? The one with the white shirt far right, the, bro, his, what is he thinking about? Hold on, let's go through the whole line and look at these guys' facial expressions. Okay, let's start from, from the guy with the eyes. Okay, I don't know if he's like envisioning himself with this girl or if he hurt something that just like made him think, oh my gosh, is she the one that I had a dream about? face behind and then the one guy with the uh fire shirt he's like oh she saw good she saw da, 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 da. like he looked like he's just mesmerized with the la joint my guy with the in the middle with the black he think about what he gonna eat later on man he think about he's hungry right now he's this guy wants to bite a burger right now he ain't he ain't at the he ain't dating right now he's, his mind is not there guy next to him with the polka dotted jumpsuit. He probably, he, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know why he's looking down, but his face is saying to me, I don't know what his face is saying. I can't read this one. Do on the far left. My guy on the far left is either high or sleepy. <laughs> what is he drooling for, man? Look at him sucking his lip. Come on, guys. These guys look funny, son. Let's go. We're just waiting to hear more about you and you more about yeah, them. Absolutely. And we do see here you have a set of questions. I do. And we're going to go through mm -hmm. each round. You're going to ask them a couple of questions, whatever uh -huh. it is, get to know them. And after each round, I'm going to have you eliminate a guy until we are down to your match. OK, baby. <laughs> you ready? Yes, uh -oh. I am. I'm guys, so are we ready? Are we ready over there? Most definitely. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> they, so they don't sound ready to me, but whatever. <laughs> they ready, right, man. They tired so of waiting. I'm going to go ahead and have you start yeah, with your first question. Yeah, so my first question is, is, like, can you state, like, a fun fact about yourself or just, like, anything, like, you know, to let me get you get to know you more? And let's start with your name and age as well. So we'll start with uh, contestant number one. Hey, I'm contestant number one. 
My name is Rich. I'm 25 years old. <laughs> and I would say a fun <laughs> fact for me would be um, being involved with kids. I love the community. So that's something that I'm most definitely interested in. Um, just being able to connect with children and to... Uh, <laughs> Listen, it's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with that. But today's age is so, they they want to categorize guys so bad and like as, as like some pedophiles and stuff. But I'm not gonna lie, his responses is just making me think of people just calling him, you know, why you like kids so much? Why you want to spend time with kids? Goodness gracious, people, leave him alone, dog. He's into the children's program, bringing up the youth. Cause you know what's for, like what's really serious though, you got it. Like the kids today. <clears throat> Are just learning bad things They're just learning how to not be social They're learning how to be bullies Come on, we gotta pour into the young kids Good things good, Share the good knowledge and, and that's probably what he's doing So stop going to the To the thought of, oh He liked the kids, well, why he liked the kids so much Like what's, what he's Bro, why can't We help the kids Anyway, I just wanted to throw that in there because I know some people. I know I know some people are going to go straight to the far end. Uh, provide resources to people that are less fortunate. Okay, yeah, okay. that's really sweet. Uh, contestant number two. Uh, I'm contestant number two. I'm Andre. I'm 30. A fun fact about me is uh, I do. I like to make clothes. Uh, I taught myself how to sew. Uh, I taught myself how to do a, for a lot of things. I like to be very hands-on with stuff. And now for contestant number three. <laughs> Yo, contestant you don't number care, three, man. My name is James. Um, what I like to do is mobile bartend. I run my own mobile bartending business. Been doing that for about a year and a half, and I really enjoy it. Uh, oh, now I got a little bit nervous, four. man. Um, contestant number four, <laughs> my name is Tate. Well, where is he looking, though? Uh, that's what's so funny. Like It looks like he's looking into the abyss. All right, I'm going to stop pausing it. If you're... Uh, I love to make music, love all things music, love to go to concerts, festivals, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it's pretty much it. How old did he say he was? Uh, I love to make... Four? Um, contestant number four, my name is Tavier. Uh, I love to make music. Oh, he didn't love say Love all age. things music, love to go to concerts, festivals, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it's pretty much it. All right, and contestant number five. Hi, I'm contestant number five. My name is Kai. Um, a fun fact about me, I guess, I love cars. Um, I'm also an entrepreneur. I just bought my first water and ice store. Um, yeah, I, just, I don't know. That was a big money. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. nice she didn't say you nothing all. about that. Yeah. She said yeah. some fact yeah. about you, man. <laughs> okay, go ahead and take it off well, for your next question. That might have been fun for her. I don't know. Definitely something I want to know about you guys is, have you ever cheated? And do you think it's like a deal breaker in a relationship? Okay, we jump right on in. Yeah. Let's start with contestant number one. <laughs> contestant number one, uh, in my younger years, of course, cheating is something that you do because you learn in a relationship. Um, but in the older years, I wouldn't say so. So no. And then a deal breaker, would cheating be a deal breaker? What form of cheating? If you're communicating with someone else, I kind of feel like I'm someone who is a great man, so I don't necessarily kind of wouldn't give in to that in a sense. But it's like, if you're so involved with me, there shouldn't be nobody else. Yeah. Okay. Contestant number two. I'm going to lie, uh, man. Contestant number Contestant number one. Bro, this dude, he, he been through some stress. He don't look like a um, young 25, man. He like an old 25, honestly. But I'm not trying to crack. Let's keep on going. Number two, no. I never cheated. And uh, it's definitely a deal breaker with me. Like, uh... I don't share. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And contestant number three. Contestant number three. Yes, I have cheated. I don't think it's a deal breaker. Um, I feel like it depends on the relationship, uh, working on it, uh, getting through it together, and just growing. And if you guys got to go your separate ways or move forward with it together, then, you well, know, that's what, what you got to do. Huh? Okay. Contestant number four. No, nah, he ain't there. Um, contestant number four, honestly speaking, I don't understand the reason to cheat because, you know, for me, I get in relationships because I, you know, aspire that relationship. I want that relationship. So uh, personally, I haven't done that. But um, and I do think it's a deal breaker because if you've cheated once, you're probably going to do it again. So 
Okay, yeah, and sorry. contestant number five. Um, contestant number five, personally, I've never cheated. Um, I do think it's a deal breaker, but I feel like it's a choice. If you chose to make that decision, you know, step out on me, you <clears throat> willingly and, you know, consciously made that decision. So you weren't thinking about me how I would feel. So personally, it's a deal breaker for me because if it were me, I would just leave personally. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go ahead and throw in one more question in this round, yeah. and then we're gonna go ahead and. So, uh, my last question for this round is: How open are you to therapy and issues related to mental health in men? Mm. Okay, let's switch it up. Let's start mm -hmm. with contestant number five first. Ooh, uh, contestant number five. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, uh, my parents work in the behavioral health field, so I mean, I'm always open to. I'm kind of kind of hip to it. Um, I'm not against therapy. I just hope it's for the right reasons. It's not trying to like, you know, prove a point or try and get over on somebody of like, you know, pointing out their downfalls or where they lack, but um, I'm definitely, you know, down for it. Okay, contestant yeah. number four. Um, I'm contestant number four. I think therapy is very important for everybody. And uh, personally speaking, I've dealt with some issues that, you know, I needed therapy myself with, but um, didn't really go seek that. So I, you know, feel like that's very important for everybody to do, to experience, so, um, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. number three. Contestant number three, I think mental health is really important, but I'm not the type to really go to therapy. Right now, I'm open to it, but I'd rather just communicate and see where it is with it. Uh, contestant two, I would say I'm open to it. I've actually been to therapy uh, when I was in the military, so. Yeah, it's definitely helped me out, so I wouldn't mind going, like, if I had a problem, I would, wouldn't would mind going to seek therapy. Okay, and number one? Contestant number one, I'd say I'm most definitely open to therapy. I've been in therapy. Um, I, I do social work as well, and so so I'm helping people out all the time. Hey, and so tired, uh, even healing journals, black men healing journals, if those individuals who never had one get one. So I'm all in support of mental health. Hey, listen, man, <laughs> contestant number one need to take a nap, but I think who's going to be the leader is probably contestant number three. I think he's a little bit like, I don't care to be here. I think he's about to be out, but I have no idea what she's going to pick. I'm just thinking based on what sounds good to me, you know, from all these guys, what may, what she might, I don't know. Let's see. All right. Mm, I know you heard a lot. I did hear a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, unfortunately, it is time where we do have to eliminate someone mm -hmm. from, you know, our lineup of men. Yeah. From uh, the five different guys we've heard, whose answers weren't you really resonating with? I think for me, the person I wasn't resonating with the most was contestant number three. Okay. Um, wow, doggy. Wowzers. Was I not point spot on bro was i not spot on i'm just saying because he don't sound like he want to be there bro he sound like he's he sound like he want to be somewhere else he's not there look he looking he's imagining where else he wants to be in the on the show can't y'all like <laughs> this guy but pretty cool that i got the first one right you know just based on his answers it, it, to me it was obvious you know, drop in the comments if you thought the same thing. Reasons are is the cheating and mm. um, I don't think that's something in a relationship that you can necessarily back, like jump back, I'm sorry. Like back pedal from, yeah, like recover like, I from, I guess. I just don't think like that's something you can necessarily work through. Mm. Um, so yeah, that's my reasoning. And okay, so we're eliminating contestant number three. Contestant number three, Okay, yes. contestant number three, let's have you come on out. I knew it. <clears throat> Yeah, he's, he don't care. <laughs> if you want to go right on over there. <laughs> All right, so if you want to remind us of your name again. James. James, okay. So James, she ended up eliminating you because yeah. of, you know, the cheating thing and all of that. Um, if you want to kind of elaborate on what you stated a little bit more, or if, do you understand where she's coming from I as well? I understand where she's huh. coming from. I yeah. feel like it's a deal breaker for a lot of people. It, like I said, it, def it depends on the relationship. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Well, we do thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. Thank you. So I appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Yeah. <laughs> nice, to you. nice to meet you as well. <laughs> okay. That was our first elimination. That was our first elimination. Let's go ahead and move on to round two. Hit them with okay, the first question. Okay, yeah. So my 
first question for the second round for you guys is, do you prefer a partner that's more similar to you or different? Okay, let's start with contestant number one. Contestant number one, I would say um, it kind of depends. I feel like differences can make each other better, but also those similarities are important as well because I want to do things with you. I want to go places with you, but I also we do have differences. Then I would be comfortable with learning what you like and then you learning what I like and then we do it together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's a good one because, of course, you definitely want – the uh to have differences so that you guys can have something that uh you guys can even go to you know and do when you guys aren't around each other like when you guys work and one person's at the house or whatever <clears throat> you know what are you gonna do just think about the person that's at work you gotta have your own interests you gotta have your own thing that you like to do so you can be occupied and and enjoy you know spending time even away you know but also even enjoy it more when you guys are together because you guys like to do a lot of the same things. So you definitely have to have both. I don't think one or the other is is sufficient. I think you have to have both. Maybe more of enjoying stuff with each other than alone would be an ideal situation uh, because, yeah, you, wanna, you want to want to be around each other. So if you like to be alone more than you like to be around each other, then that's going to be a problem. <clears throat> so... I definitely agree with both. Okay. Yeah. All right. Contestant number two. Um, contestant number two, I would say it kind of, yeah, it just depends on the relationship. Obviously, we would have to have some things that are different so that I would be able to get to know you and you would be able to get to know me. But on the other hand, we would definitely share some of the same things as well because, I mean, if we're going to be working on something or a relationship, we are obviously going to have some of the same interests. But it's kind of going to go both ways. All right, and contestant number four. I'm contestant number four. I'll just say, you know, pretty similar to these guys. Um, It does really depend. For me, I find, like, the more you're similar with somebody, the more, you know, you can connect with them. So for me, I like to make music and do all things music-related. So I like to go to concerts, festivals, um, do fun things, you know what I mean? And if you're not into that, it might just you know, it might hinder, you know, our relationship just just slightly, but I, I'm open to anything, to be honest with you, so. Okay. All right, I feel like, ooh, I feel like he lost some points on it only because he put a wall up saying, like, okay, you got to you gotta stay within here. If you go over, it might be. So he, he, I think he lost some points on that response, son. I think he did. Okay. And number five. Uh, contest number five. Um. I I'm kind of agree with everybody else. I do like the 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 mix of the, the two, but I do like having differences. I feel like me personally, I like to hear like a different side of a story or a different view. Especially me, um, I'm very used to kind of hearing people being the same, similar, same idea. So I like hearing that um, you know that that other perspective on it um, personally. But yeah. All right. Good responses. Yeah. Let's hit them with another question. Okay, so <laughs> my second question for you guys is what sets you apart from other men in today's dating culture? Okay, let's just switch it up. Let's start in the middle of the lineup. Let's start with number two. Yeah. <laughs> All right, contestant number two. I would say what makes me different is I'm pretty hands-on, and you don't have to tell me stuff. Like, I pay attention. I pay attention to detail. Um and then, like, my background and, you know, just things that I've been through, you know, as far as, like, growing up around women, I, I was brought up around women. So, like, I just kind of, you know, I, I have more of a a caring side. I'm not just, like, uh, out here just, you know, with no feelings or, like, I, I actually think about my actions and stuff. And I'm the type, like, I don't do stuff that I don't want done to me because, like, I, I take things to the heart. So once I'm not feeling... A certain way about you anymore like it ain't no coming back from that so i kind of try to keep that in mind as far as like how i'm moving to you know so i wouldn't want to do anything that would make i wouldn't want you to do to me pretty much okay mm-hmm. all right and let's hear from mm, number five uh what well, sets me aside um i feel like i'm my own person so as far as like making decisions or just Really, I feel like I've gotten as far as I've gotten based off my own experience and my own decisions I make. Um, I'm not easily influenced, and if it's something I want to do, I'm going to do it. Um, obviously, consideration to, like, you know, who I'm with, but uh, 
I'm not like a follower and right? I make my own way in my own motion. So if I mess up, that's on me. I don't have to like drag anybody down with me. Like, I don't know, I've opened my own two businesses by myself. I bought my dream car at 24. I just feel like I've just been moving at my own pace, doing my own thing. So I'm not really into like the other limelight or anything like that. Okay, and number four? Um, contestant number four, um, ultimately what makes me different is that I'm looking for marriage to be real. Um, somebody I can build with, grow with, have kids with, you know, spend the rest of my life with. So um, this is not just like a dating show for me. It's like, you know, I want to get to know you. You know, I want to know what you like, what you don't like. And hopefully, you know, the connection builds and builds and builds so we, you know, can further that relationship and ultimately just grow together in harmony on one accord, so. <laughs> okay, yeah. and contestant number one. Contestant number one. Um, I would say for me, just attention to detail. I think what makes me different is just, I enjoy uh, paying attention, attention to detail, being deliberate in what I do. And so with that being said, like everything that we're gonna set out to do, we're gonna be the best to do it. So whatever dreams you have, we're gonna conquer those. Whatever dreams I have, we're gonna conquer those. And just like contestant four said, you date to marry, so that's the intention. And so with the intentionality and us coming together, what's stopping us? Hey, okay. hey, yo, number one is probably number one. I'm just saying, dog, he know how to talk, son. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's throw one more question into this round. Okay, so uh, another question I want to know from you guys is, what do you think is your biggest red flaw or flag? Okay, let's start with contestant number one. Uh, contestant number one, my biggest red flaw, flag, it would be um, my heart. My heart uh, put me in, in bad spots of just kind of um, people who do me wrong to be able to continue on and love them. And I think sometimes that can get you taken advantage of. Oh, yeah, that is true. Contestant that number two. True. Hey, yo, number um, contestant one, Contestant number two, I would say the same thing, kind of mm -hmm. like uh, just my heart for real. Like, I be just too caring and, like, <laughs> I, I look past a lot of stuff. I give way too many second chances and, you know, like, I'm – I like to be for my people. So if I mess with you, I'm going to give you a thousand chances before I really just be like, all right, I'm done. So that's kind of like my biggest flaw right there. Okay. Number he's four. Still, he's still number one. Um, I'm not trying to steal their answers or anything, but uh, honestly, it is my heart because I feel like I'm a very nice person sometimes. And then that kind of comes off and rubs off in the, wrong, in the wrong way with certain people. So I just try to avoid doing that. You know what I mean? Because whoever I'm dating or, uh, you know, pursuing to marry, that's who I want to be with. So I don't want anything else to come in between that. So yeah, I'll just say it's, it's my heart, my caring nature. It's how my family is, it's how I grew up. So can't help it, but I'm working on it. Okay, okay. and our last guy, contestant number five. Um, contestant number five, I feel like for me, it's probably gonna be like my personality. Um, I'm a people's person, so I do network, and it's easy for me to talk to people and kind of like, you know, get my way and meet myself into a room. Um, I feel like that, you know, especially for who, if I'm going to be with somebody, I feel like they have to be able to understand that and know that, like, I don't, I'm not like a quiet person, so I am going to be out networking. And I feel like, you know, they just have to be strong enough and, you know, have enough security to be able to withstand that and know that I do talk. I'm not like a very quiet person. It's gotten me into rooms I wouldn't have gotten if I was quiet. So, um, I just feel like it's easy to be respected. Like, you know, if I'm moving a certain way and I'm trying to do certain things, I expect you to understand that and allow me to do what I need to do to make sure we're good. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. That was, was round two. I, I round don't know. Two. So it's time to eliminate someone. I don't Who's know, man. Towards eliminate. Maybe five or four, man. Maybe five or four. Ah, uh, yeah. Four brought himself back to life, you know, with the marriage thing. Maybe five or four, ma'am. I, I am what I'm thinking. leaning towards contestant number one. Um, I'm just kind of not feeling that initial draw to him. Okay. Whoa. Um, so, yeah, that's my reasoning today. Whoa. All right, well, I'm going to have you stand on over there. And oh. let's go ahead and bring out contestant number one. Dang, he eliminated the Duke. Oh, wow. Hello, hello. Hey. You can remind us of your name again. Rich. Rich, Rich. okay, Rich. So she ended up eliminating you. I think she yeah. said she wasn't really yeah. feeling your responses. How do you feel now that you've seen her? How do you feel now that you've seen him? Yeah. Like, 
yeah. what's going through your head. <laughs> I mean, very beautiful. I mean, you got to be yourself okay. and be honest. So that's how I move. Okay. Absolutely. Was there anything specific he said that you were like, oh, no? Um, No, I think I was just kind of leaning more towards other responses okay. versus his. So obviously, I don't want to waste your time if I'm not getting that initial, like, impression or spark. So that's my reasoning today. Okay. All right, well, thank you so much right, for coming on, you. Rich. Yeah. I did not expect that. Let's go ahead and move on up. I did not expect that. <laughs> wow. All right, so we are now left with contestant number two, four, and five. five yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're down to our three remaining guys. Wow. Let's yeah. go ahead and go on so to round three. My first question for you guys will be, like, what is your favorite pastime? Okay, let's start with contestant number two. My favorite pastime would be um, working on my businesses, like, uh, so... I own a clothing line, so I like to make clothes. I make a lot of clothes from scratch. I like to think of a lot of new designs for upcoming seasons and stuff, and stuff I want to drop. I also breed French Bulldogs, so I be with my dogs a lot. Or, you know, I I, I do trucking as well, so I, I own a trucking company, so I like to take a drive. I'll take a drive at night and pretty much just get out, see the scenery, you know, relax, just enjoy my time, peaceful time. I kind of like to, you know, just be about be in my own little area, just, you know, doing my own thing, not too much going out or anything. I like to, you know, find activities or something or, you know, really just work on myself for real. If I'm going to pass time, I at least want to work on myself and go ahead further, continue chasing my goals and get into where I want to go. Okay. Thank you. Let's hear from contestant number four. I don't know four. about that, man. Uh, I would say my favorite pastime is traveling um i really 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 love to travel um because there's so much beauty in traveling get to meet new people network uh try new cuisines and all that different kind of stuff i'm with the cuisines um and That's i like what to I'm do with. a lot of adrenaline rushing things while uh -huh. i'm traveling or you know while i'm at home too but um yeah i would just say overall i really really love to travel and go see new things different things because the world is so big and there's so many people in the world. So it's like, why not experience it, you know, and learn it for yourself. And it also opens your mind to uh, new things, new people, how they act versus how you act. Because a lot of us can be very, right, you very talk a little too much, man. to our current situations or environments. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing I dislike is to just have a one-sided mind. I like to be open He's to all people, too much. understand all people. So traveling helps me open up and learn new things see new things taste new things do new things all the above okay thank you yeah. and let's hear from contestant oh, number no, five please um contestant number five taste <clears throat> thank you yeah. and let's hear from contestant number five um contestant number five <clears throat> i do love the gym i feel like that's like the greatest outlet in the world i feel like we deal with all types of problems every day in our lives i just feel like we all need to have a good positive outlet um, besides that, I'm going to go back to my car. <laughs> I love my car. I bought a Hellcat. I love it. It's the best thing in the world. I do like uh, what Contest number four said, traveling. Um, traveling is great. It's nice to see the world, especially, oh, no, she's feeling that is, one. especially when you live like in a local area and you haven't really been out. You don't understand how big the world is. Like When I, when I went to Paris, opened my mind. I'm like, yo, this is real. Like This, this world is a real thing. So um, definitely the gym, my car, and traveling for sure. Pastime. No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely felt them on the traveling part as well. Mm. Um, me myself, I've been to 26 countries, okay. um, so I, I completely understand. I think it definitely opens your mind to yeah. new I worlds. I think you about to get rid of number gets two. Get yourself out of that bubble of you know living here in the exactly. U.S. Like, so yeah, it was really great to hear. Nice. Um, my next question for you guys though is, if you could take me anywhere on a first date, where would you choose and why? Okay, <clears throat> now the first date thing. A lot of people try to go extravagant on the first date, and if you feel like you gotta go extravagant, like is it okay? There's different levels of what you feel like you have to do. Extravagant is like the the beyond, right? <clears throat> uh, going going, it's like I say about three or four tiers. Basically, what I'm trying to say is first date should be simple. First date, if you feel like you gotta go extravagant, you delay that you're trying to talk to or trying to impress like if you start high because you think that's what's gonna get the girl interested or stay or whatever it is <clears throat> you're gonna be in a lot of trouble because now you gotta go 
above what you did the first date and X, Y, and Z a lot of the times. Now, if you can work it out to where you, to where you don't have to do it like that, then I guess you figured it out. But if you feel like you really have to do something very extravagant on a first date, I think you probably would type of person that is going to be expecting those type of things. In my opinion, might be totally off here. Y'all tell me in the comments, but I think a first date should be very simple because you guys are trying to get to know each other. So do something that makes sense. Do something that you both could be involved in and have time to talk. And, you know, get to know each other more like that instead of doing something, you know, that costs a lot of money. And now you broke after the first date. Okay, let's start with contestant number four. Um, I'm not going to lie. I kind of like doing things that build core memories for us. So, um, oh, I know how to cook. So, I'd like to cook for you, you know, take you home. You know, we can go to the movies, do whatever activity we both enjoy doing together. I definitely want to do that. Um... But apart from that, you know, if that's not something that's in the picture, I would say, you know, a fancy dinner because we got to pop out because, you know, we that we that couple. But um, other than that, I, you know, picnic in the park is cool, too. Um, you know, I can cook some food. We can go to the park, you know, enjoy that. Watch the sunset, Romantic. you know, nature, all that good stuff. So. I'll just say anything that's really building core memories, um, whoever I'm getting to know, I want to know what you like. So by the time we're doing these dates and things like that, I will already have like a mental picture of what's going to make you. OK, smile. he's saying some good things, boy, because the imagination aspect, that's where you get them, dog. The, hey, my new L.A. Oh, from L.A., bro, my guy. He he's saying the right things, and she over there, her mind is just loving it. She's having, she's having some pleasures over here. Wow, man. what's gonna make you laugh and all that stuff? So, okay, <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and hear from contestant number five. I think so. I think so. Um, I contestant think. number five for a first date, I like to have fun, and especially if I don't know you, don't know me. We need to meet on on a neutral ground. So I probably would probably find like a little cool speakeasy, trying to show you a little something different, you know, a little hole in the wall type of vibe. Um. Yeah, I, I like I like them speakeasies. There, there's a, there's a few of them out here, so speak definitely easy. probably there. A restaurant, something. I mean, yeah, I'd probably go the speakeasy route and get a little snack. Okay. Cool. Okay. And contestant number one. I'm sorry, contestant number two. Um, contestant number two. Uh, it would kind of just depend, you know. Once we started texting, and I kind of felt the vibe, kind of see what uh which way I would more lean towards. But I would say something like outdoors, you know, like something cool, like cool vibe, something not too, you know, nothing like no club or nothing. <laughs> Why she or, look bored? You know, just something that we could both at least have a conversation at and, you know, like enjoy the vibe and, you know, see some scenery or something, you know, might go somewhere. It might be a little something fun at the end of the night, like, you know, like a, some arcade type vibe or some something, some type of activity or something that, you know, we could just chill out, hang out, nothing too much high pressure or nothing, something relaxed, you know, so we can actually get to know each other and it's not, you know, so so much pressure and so tense, you know, just come and have fun and, you know, just really fill each other out. Okay. All right, we have one more question for this round. Ah, so my final question for this round is, why do you think most relationships fail today? Okay, Ooh, let's that. start with contestant number two. I love that I would say social media for sure. Social media is like, it has everyone thinking it's just so much out there that it's not. And then like a lot of people are really just into the hype right now. Everyone is just so focused on not missing out on something and they think that they're gonna miss out on something. So it like kind of tends to make people do things that you know you weren't even normally do or even really wanna do, but you just don't wanna miss out and you wanna be a part of the vibe or the whatever scene is going on. So I would definitely say like social media is a part and like just, you know, like not being present versus being, you know, just in a whole nother world instead of being where you are. And uh, contestant number five. Um, contestant number five, I'm definitely gonna agree on the social media part. Um, I also think m music has a part to play into this. I feel like nobody really thinks for themselves nowadays and it's like, somebody's favorite artist says something they're gonna automatically believe it and go through it and i just feel like it's just not like for example if you go out you're gonna see the same people going out 
But if you look at it on social media, it looks lit. But if you see them at the club, they're just standing around, like, just doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, it looks cool. But if you're really there, if you really know what's going on, you're going to be like, yo, it's not really what's going on. So I definitely agree. Social media and music is just jading everybody's minds. And it's not how the real world works. It's just not. So social media and music is what I'm going to say. Nobody really thinks for themselves anymore. Okay. And contestant number four. Um, I'll keep it short, but basically I'll say lack of communication. Um, it's very, very big to communicate when you're, when you're in a relationship, because when you think about it, you're going to get married to this person, hopefully. And, um, if that happens, things aren't always going to be so bright. So, you know, the best way to solve those issues, those problems is to communicate and, you know, I found like a lot of my friends, a lot of people I'm around, you know, have problems with the relationships just because they're going to other people to talk about this and that, that their significant other did. And it's like, if you would have just went to your significant other the first time, you probably wouldn't have had that issue, that problem, whatever the case may be, you could have solved it in the blink of an eye. But because you decided to go to social media, like my boy said, or, you know, go to you listen to the music and let that influence you or whatever the case may be it's like it's not gonna it's not gonna work even if you don't do those things and you don't have communication you got to have communication overall hey yo man number four he were he 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 revived himself man the first one he kind of was losing points i think but i think he revived himself man he he he's he's back to life he might be on number he might be on top but i don't know she might she might get him out of here. All right. It is the end of this round. It is the end of the round. I know those are pretty good responses. These, these are great responses. Unfortunately, we do have to get rid of one of those guys. We've got to eliminate them. Um, so the person I'm picking this round to eliminate will be contestant number two. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have you stand on over there. <laughs> Uh-oh. And contestant number two, let me have you come on out. Uh-oh. All right, you can stand right over there. Okay, so why did we lean towards eliminating contestant number two? I think for me, when it came around to that date question, I kind of feel like it was not really like a lot of effort thought or put into it when it came to what could possibly be done. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but that's just me, like I'm definitely like, a more outgoing girl, I feel like. So, I don't know. I just feel like just I a didn't more. really resonate that much with your answer okay. today. All right. And then, sorry, if you can remind us of your name again. Andre. Oh, Andre, oh. you don't got a mic? No, I got it. Oh, there you And go. Andre. <laughs> Andre, okay. Well, Andre, we do thank you so much for coming on. It was a pleasure yes. having you. Uh, thank you. Thank Why you. Why did you say today like it's going to be tomorrow? Okay. We are in our uh, final round. Final round. Final, final round. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and uh, continue on to our questions. We do have contestant four and five left, so let's okay. get in with the first question. So <laughs> what I would like to know is what is the most spontaneous thing you've ever done? Ooh, okay, contestant number four. Um, I've done a lot of spontaneous things. So um, for an example, I drove myself across the country, changed my life. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, originally from Kenya, but I moved to L.A., and I drove myself over there to pursue my dreams and my career. But I will say the biggest thing I've done was, I would say. Hey, uh, no, make no sound effects. You might think you're trying to speak something up. Hey, I'm just saying, man. Uh-oh. Is he, is he going to say the right thing here? Because, yeah, he, he, he thinking. I mean, you have to think. You got to think to to you know, know what you want to say. So is she going to take points because he was trying to think and he wasn't up on his feet like that? Let's see. Well, I'm going to give you two. Um, <laughs> I flew out of the country alone to London, had the best experience of my life. Mm -hmm. But the biggest thing I wanted to say was I jumped off like one of the buildings in Las Vegas. It's called the Strat Tower. Um, it really boosted my confidence. I'm not going to lie. I was like, I can do anything. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm fearful. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Okay. okay yeah. All right. Contestant number five, let's hear from you. 
Uh, okay, test number five. Jeez. Uh, the most spontaneous <laughs> thing I think I've ever done was kind of the same thing he did. Traveled a little bit. Um, went to Paris for a week, then took a train to Amsterdam. Was there for a week. You know, that traveling stuff and going out the country was, was really just a, a nice break from everything. Um, but that's probably the most spontaneous thing. I was like, yeah, let me get my passport, start checking off these countries, getting these stamps. Went to Jamaica too, but nothing compared. I was out in Paris for Fashion Week, so I was like, I gotta go. I need to get lit, and that's what I did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What would you say is the most spontaneous thing you've done? Oh wow! <laughs> She's like, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> I feel like I've done a lot in my life, but kind of piggybacking off of like them is just definitely being able to solo travel as well as like um with my best friend we actually share the same birthday so we always travel together and i feel like my times with her are just always so grand and i'm so appreciative of the time we have together so i would say like my times with her is always just so spontaneous it's just I love it, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and start off with that second yeah. question. So my second question is, like, what's a long-term goal you guys would like to achieve? Okay, let's start with contestant five. Oh, I'm sorry, contestant number five. Um, definitely financial freedom. Um, I do not like stress. I mean, I know it's a part of, like, everyday life, but I know, like, me personally, I like to, you know, have a good time. So I would love to be... I understand financial freedom is not necessarily like super duper tim, but I would love to just be able to do whatever I want. I just feel like I don't want to stress about bills, yada, yada. So I definitely think um, a long term goal is to get myself good now. So in the long run, I don't really have to worry about stuff like, you know, like I said, I just bought my dream car at 24. I'm about to be 25. So I kind of like to know where I plan on heading. Um, so I'm just like, I don't really care about, you know, the fun stuff now. Like I can do that later on if I just know to play on my cards right. So right now it's time to grind and build. Um, build build my legacy so when I do decide to settle down you know have kids and everything I can do that without you know really having to worry about it so um, definitely financial freedom for sure okay contestant number four um honestly I'm really 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 interested in building a family because that's just something I didn't grow up with like a lot around me as far as like intermediate family I didn't grow up with a lot of that around me but I have always had like cousins and aunties and uncles and stuff around me, but ultimately it's just getting to where God wants me to be urgently because life is really, really short. And when you think about it, there really is no time. Like there's no time at all to do anything. So I just want to do everything that I'm supposed to do, everything that I'm meant to do while I'm here. And I want to succeed and strive to that at the fullest of my capabilities basically okay. okay all right next question so uh my final question for this round is how do you like to show your affection to the people you care about okay contestant number four quality time um whoever i love is is someone that i want to be around so if that's you then i just want to be around you and um spoil you treat you to what you like to do but you know that goes vice versa you know we do that towards each other which builds a better relationship versus one person just doing something but honestly it's it's quality time um getting to know my partner because you can never know someone a hundred percent there's always something that you're going to miss or something that you need to know that you didn't know something you can do better and I know everyone likes attention, everyone, you know, in general. So showing that girl, that woman attention is very important for me because I know without that, there's a lot of problems that can, you know, that can hinder your relationship and, and whatever the case may be. And I don't want any problems in my relationship. So it's just quality time, attention, and um, yeah, just love and care, really. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's hear from contestant five. Um, I think for me, showing my affection, like I said, I was raised a certain way. So it's definitely going to be, I hate to say it, a little bit more on the materialistic side. I'm definitely in tune with my affections and obviously being able to speak. Um, but I know me, like I said, I like nice things. So if you buy me some nice thing, that's 
my love language so i'm going to reciprocate that to you as well as you know as well as a verbal and like you know like reassure you side um quality time for sure is just you know i'm I like you. I'm gonna buy you a bag or something, you know. But that's only yeah. if you my girl. That's only if you my girl though. Like no, whatever. So, but um, but definitely the, I'm, I'm, I look nice. I want you to look nice. You know what I'm saying? So okay. that's kind of it. So, All right. Tough one. We're down to our last. I think. Wait, is it is it one more question? You guys. Our last two men. It's elimination time. Okay, it's elimination time. I think. Okay, I think. She's going to eliminate number five. The reason I think number five is not only did do, do, do number four have a lot of good answers previously, but I think um, I think she just might be filling his his answers a lot more honestly. Honestly, that's what I think. But let's see what she says. She could choose number five. You, you know, we don't know. Ladies out here be doing anything so let's see which one out of these two contestants all of the responses really resonated with you you loved mm -hmm. what you heard whatever it may be which one out of these two are we eliminating i think for me it'll be contestant number five okay i think I knew overall it. i knew it son. i was kind of leaning towards the other person more mm -hmm. um and just like the attention to detail and just like the intention of what you want going into a relationship and building that bond with the person. So I think I knew it. The other I told you, son. Answers resonated more. with me more okay. versus contestant number five today. All right. Let Both me great. I knew it. You okay. can go ahead and stand on over there. All right. Contestant number five, come on out. Good luck, man. <laughs> All right, I'll have you stand there. Okay, if you want to remind us of your name again. Uh, hi, my name is Kai. Hi, okay. So yeah. you did end up eliminating him. Okay. Was there anything specific he said that you were like, oh, you know what? I'm definitely going to steer more towards contestant number four. Um, I think it was kind of your last comment on my final answer in terms of the materialistic. I, I love gifts. I love giving gifts to my friends and my family. It's All also right. another love language of mine, but I think like that bond is much more important to me than, you know, yes. the other stuff. No, for sure. Yeah. yeah. That's why I said, I was like, you know, I was raised a certain way. So like, I understand my yeah. view is going to be a little different, but okay absolutely yeah. all right well thank you so much for coming on nice we appreciate you. you nice meeting you as well okay you can stay right all on right there, girl let's see oh. now now okay now okay this is a blind date so she can't see him so let's see if she likes what she sees you know what i'm saying she likes what she heard we know that that's why she picked but it's also the physical joint that gotta be there too so let's see i think she's gonna be okay i think he's gonna like her I think he's gonna think she's beautiful, but I don't know about her, but let's see. Okay, so you did end up picking contestant number four. I did. So let's go ahead and bring out your match. <laughs> let's Come see. on out. Let's see. Uh oh. Hey, Hello. How are you? Uh oh. Uh, I'll have you just stand Cheryl. over here. Cheryl. Cheryl. I'm Tavia. Tavia, Tavia, nice to meet you. Yeah, you're beautiful. Thank okay. you. I told you. <laughs> so I know you said a lot of his responses like really resonated with you. Mm -hmm. What really like sealed the deal for you? I just think like how I don't know. I the way you articulated things like that's just kind of how even I would respond to mm -hmm. some of like my answers I asked today okay. and also um, your view on like mental health and everything like that's so important to me. I'm a big, big advocacy for therapy. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I think that's just my final, you know, Okay. I was just, I was just like, okay, like I think I'm leaning more towards this way, and I think like just as we went on, that's just kind of sealed the deal for me. All right. So now you see your, you see your day. How are you feeling? How are you feeling, sir? <laughs> Mr. Money Man. <laughs> I'm just playing. No, but she's a beautiful young lady. Yeah. Um, I loved your responses too when she did ask you, you know, some questions. Mm -hmm. Um, I really like your vibe and everything like that. You have a beautiful smile as well. Thank you. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, okay. we're real happy. All right, well, I can't wait to hear about this follow-up. Yeah. Okay, I hope we get lots of dates and we hear good stuff. Yes, yes. I'm really, really happy for you, too. Should we go yeah. skydiving? Oh, oh. 
just playing. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys yeah. can go on home. Thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> thank you, everyone, for tuning into this. Hey, she chose number four, baby. Four is more. Four is not just joking. Hey, <clears throat> listen. Shouts out to the to the African brothers out there. I'm African as well. Yes, indeed. I'm not gonna tell you guys where I'm from, but um, hey, good episode. Um, she's doing a good job with these shows. Drop in the comments down below. Who did you think she was gonna pick? Um, in the beginning, in the beginning, I thought she was gonna pick number one. Honestly, well, no, 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 not no, not no, no, no. Okay, in the beginning, after the first question, I thought she was gonna pick number one. Um, other than that. I definitely didn't think she was going to pick number four in the beginning, you know, especially, especially when they didn't uh, answer questions either. But I was totally wrong. That's the one that she actually picked after he started talking. I was like, okay, yeah, I can, I can hear she's liking what he's saying. Cause he's talking, you know, he got a voice to him that I know like a lot of ladies will like. So <clears throat> definitely. Uh, as 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 it went on, I could I could see okay yeah he's he's gaining he's gaining ground he's gaining ground. But number one though that was a little bit surprising because I thought number one sounded smooth for her, but she didn't really like him. So um, you know it's not always what you think you know. But nevertheless, um, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys on the next post, next episode, next video. It's Eddie Ed TV. I'm Eddie Ed. Catch you guys next time. Peace. Pow.